I'm sure you all heard the Russian words. Красивый, красивая, красивая, красивая. And you also probably heard another form of these words, which is красив, красиво, красиво, красиво. And you probably wondered what is the difference between красивый and красив. Fortunately for you, I'm here to help you. Красивый is a full adjective and красив will be a short adjective. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to form short adjectives in Russian and how to use them correctly. So you will know the difference between full and short adjectives in Russian. If you're new on this channel, don't forget to subscribe and let's begin. First, I should say that not all adjectives have this short form in Russian. Only quality adjectives can have it. And the quality adjectives, these are the adjectives that describe quality of a noun. Very simple. So what is that? They usually describe color, shape, spatial, temporal characteristics, or general characteristics of a noun. Черный, Квадратный, большой, злой, здоровый, активный. These are all the quality adjectives. And we also have relative adjectives. Relative adjectives is a smaller, much smaller group of our adjectives. They usually describe the material from which the object is made and time, space and place. But these places they come from a noun. And in English, these are not even adjectives. So when we talk about the place, it can be Moskovsky. In English, the words Moskva and Moskovsky, they are both the same. It's just Moscow. Moscow Street. Moscow is the capital of Russia. This is the same word. In Russian, it's different. When you describe the street, it'll be Moskovskaya ulitsa. And when you say it as a capital, as a noun, Moskva, Stolitsa, Russia. You see, that's actually how you can easily remember these adjectives, because in English they are not adjectives. Same will be for Letni, Visenni, Derevianni, Stiklanni. You see, in English these are not adjectives. Let's go back to our quality adjectives because they are more important for us in this topic. Let's look how we form a short adjective from a full one. It'll be also pretty easy. So we have the word красивый. And when we need to make a short version of it, obviously we will just delete the ending. Instead of красивый, you will say красив. That would be for masculine. You will delete the last two letters. Красивый, красив, старый, star, сложный, сложен. I took the last example to show you that when we have a letter combination ШН, ЖН, very often we put Е in the middle, so it can sound better. Instead of saying сложен, we say сложен, which is easier for us and for you to pronounce this word. But we don't have many such words. Usually, as you can see, you simply delete the last two letters and that would be it. Then, when we talk about feminine, same happens. Here you take the feminine version, красивая, and you delete the last letter, only the last letter, so you can have a at the end. Красивая, красива, старая, стара, сложная, сложна. Then, for neutral, you can guess that you will have O at the end. Красивая, красиво, старое, старо, сложное, сложно. And the last one will be plural form. We say красивые, красивы, сложные, сложны, старые, стары. I have good news for you here. If full adjectives we have to change by cases, so you have this huge amount of different endings for adjectives, here we don't do it. You will have only these 
four forms of each short adjective. We will change them only by genders and plural form. That's perfect for us and for you when you're learning Russian language. And you don't need to remember all the endings of the cases. But the main question always is when to use these short adjectives and how they are different from the full one. Also, it's pretty simple to remember this difference. Full adjective describes permanent quality and a short adjective describes a temporal quality. For example, when you want to give a compliment to the girl and you want to say, you're beautiful, if you think that she's always beautiful and if you think that it's a permanent quality, you will obviously say ты красивая, using a full adjective красивая. But if you think, or very often, people give such compliment, you look beautiful today, only today, not any other day, in this case, if you use this today, that would be some kind of sign of a temporal quality. So you can use a short adjective. Ты красива сегодня. Ты красива. You see, I used it in a short form to show that it's kind of temporal. It's not the same as ты красивая. So be careful actually when you give compliments, because sometimes it can sound like something temporal. And never use this word сегодня. Always say ты красивая. And that would be perfect. Another example that I can give you. For example, you want to say he's sick. And if you use a full adjective on больной, it will mean that he's mentally probably ill or sick. So it's a serious sickness that is permanent. But if you mean it and if you want to say that it's just temporal, he's got a flu, he's sick at the moment, you will obviously say on болен instead of on больной. Let's look at other examples. В моем городе пустые улицы. Улицы пусты после праздника. You see the difference? В моем городе пустые улицы means that streets in my city are always empty. But when I say улицы пусты после праздника, I mean that they are empty just now, at the moment, after the holiday. Another example. Это очень веселый ребенок. Ребенок весел сегодня. You see, I add again this word сегодня to show some kind of temporal quality. You could notice that when we use a full adjective, we put it before the noun. Пустые улицы, веселый ребенок, красивая девушка. But when you use a short adjective, you will put it after. Улицы пусты, девушка красива, ребенок весел. That's also important to remember because that's how we usually use it. And the last part, important part that you also need to memorize, we have a short list of the adjectives that have only a short form. You've all seen these words and I've got questions about these words all the time because people try to understand why we use them the way we use them. And the answer is simple, only because they have only one form. These are the words rat, должен, обязан, намерен, прав. So these words, they have only one form. If you want to say you are right, it doesn't matter if you want to say you are right just now, only this time, or you are right always. In Russian, it'll be only one form. So if I say ты прав, сейчас ты прав, ты всегда прав. I don't have any other option. It's always only one form. Прав. And that's it. I know that it's probably not super easy to remember these short adjectives and how to use them. But try to remember all the information that I just gave you and it'll be helpful for you. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to my channel to learn Russian with me.